in the wings, as usual, in the wings, I've got the famous, who's always got racing snacks with her in one way or another. I wonder what her racing snacks are going to be for next week. I don't know what they're going to be, but it, or for not next, for, for uh, tomorrow, tomorrow, Mario Kart. We're going to wonder what uh, her racing snacks are going to be. Um, I don't know if she's got racing snacks for today, like talkie, talk, talkie snacks. Does that exist? Does talkie, talking snacks exist? I don't know. Anyways, I'm rambling. Um, Mags, are you ready? Give me a thumbs up. I can see you. Yeah, she's ready to go. Okay, in she comes, the famous Mags Muggins. Hi. Hey, you. This is Earth Week, right? Did you did yeah. you celebrate Earth Day Actually, this week? Actually, Earth Day is every day. Earth Day is every day. Yes. Yes, you're right. But the average person only really celebrates the Earth on one day, sadly. I celebrate it every day. Same with my teacher. That's awesome. Global yeah. warming is actually one of, th one of the things we're going to talk about. Oh, I love it. Okay. Well, then why don't we cut to the chase here? And yeah, save the unicorns, Please. which weren't saved at all. What? Where did, where did they go? Did, were they late to the boat? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> they were? They heard it. It was at seven and the boat left at six. Oh no, their schedule was all messed up. So the unicorns didn't make it. Was there any other animals that didn't make it onto the boat? No. It, it was only them. Yeah. They're the most tardiest. There should have been a couple more, but we wouldn't have known about them. Actually, you're not wrong about that. Do you think do you think people on the boat were like pointing going, Oh, they're right there. Can we stop? Can we turn around? They're right there. Let them and Noah's like, no, we've gotta go. We got we, gotta we got go. places it's coming to too go. Fast. Yeah, we gotta get out of here because uh there's a storm of brewing and they they're late. So that says a lot about showing up to things on time, am I right? You don't wanna be a unicorn is the, really the lesson that we've learned today. Don't let me write this down too. Don't be uh. a unicorn. <laughs> show up, show up on time, show up early. Or directly on time. Uh, on time. That's uh, not anyway, as glorious as it sounds. Anyway, four things to go over. Okay, let, let me, let's let's talk about the four things. Hold on. And number number one, go. We have pollution, ways to stop pollution, ozone layer, and global warming. Let's talk about pollution. How do, you, how do you feel about pollution? What's going on with pollution right now? Pollution is... It's releasing too much gas. Yes. I can't remember what it's called, but it traps heat. We want that, but eventually... But at the same time, it's, it's breaking the ozone layer, which we'll get into shortly. Let's talk about that. There, you got... Uh, or like soil pollution, you got air pollution, right? Yeah. And noise pollution. That's Water interesting. Water pollution. Yeah, yeah. If you can't breathe, if the air is too thick or it's too thin, then we can't breathe properly, right? It was almost now too real of a conversation. Now we will learn about water pollution. So before we get into water water pollution, how do you feel about air pollution? What do you what do you, what do you, what do you think we can do to to better the air pollu um, air pollution? Bike walk. Say oh, your yeah. friends invited you to a party and their house is like five blocks away. Yeah. You don't need to drive. It's That's only true. five blocks. You can bike, you can scooter, you can walk. Yeah. Do you think... Um, or use an electric car. You totally beat me to it. I was going to say that. Do you think that we're getting in a world right now where electric vehicles are becoming a lot more common? And it, yeah. is that better for the environment? Is that it's better? It's better for the environment, but it uses a lot of energy, which hurts the environment, yes. too. Holy cow, so you're a genius. It stops pollution, but, yeah. it's, but it hurts the environment. Yeah. There's so no it real hurts win. and it doesn't. But it, but would we think, is it better? Is it is it better or is it the same, do we think? Um, Probably the same. You think it's the same? Yeah. Just because we are using more energy now, right? Yeah, because we have to charge it. That's right. And where we didn't need to do that before. And do you think we're using a lot more energy right now, like charging our phones, charging our devices, 
we're well, on computers right now. Like those type of things, use, right? It still uses energy if you ha- have a plug and you yeah. have... And say you're done charging your phone, it, you, it still uses energy, goes through the cord, and then out the cord. So it's using up energy. Yes, absolutely. So when you're done with it, unplug it from the wall. Always. We want to save energy. We want to save as much energy as we can these days, right? Yes. Um, what do you think of like buses and, uh, and trains Bus- and that type of thing? Buses and trains, they still use energy and they still use energy and cause pollution. But buses and trains can hold more people, so there's still going to be less pollution because if we can encourage more people to get on buses and trains, because it's only one vehicle, not a ton of cars. Yeah, very smart. You can't get dizzy. Yeah. I got oh. off one of those spinny chair things. You sit in yeah. them and you have your legs out like this. Yeah. And you lean back. Yep. I was on that. Mom was pushing and pushing and pushing. Yeah. And when I got off, I was able to run. I was able to walk. I was not dizzy. You have no equilibrium. Amazing. I am dizzy proof. Dizzy proof. Hashtag dizzy proof. <laughs> No more, no more toot skis. You keep in your toot skis, no. right? Um, one of the biggest pollutions is uh, cow farts are actually really polluting the air. I'm going to Google that. Are cow farts bad for the environment? What does it say? You may have heard that cow farts, cow farts aren't that bad for the environment. The bad news their burps are a real problem. Why? It's the burps, not the farts. Well, that's a quote for the day. They create their methane burps gas. burps are the problem. Are our burps and farts no. any problems? I toot a lot. Yes. I <laughs> <laughs> okay, so air pollution, We a lot of things contribute to it, right? A lot of things. Cars, toots. Um, what what else did we say? Cows, cows burping. That's cows big. Burping. That's a big deal. Farts that's aren't part of air pollution. No, but cow burps. I'm gonna put that down as something that we should explore a little more. Of. Ozone next. layer. Perfect for ozone. The layer. ozone layer protects yep. us from sunburns. It's basically a layer of sunscreen around the earth, oh, but with yeah. pollution. Well, the greenhouse gas I was talking about is breaking holes in the ozone layer. And yeah. it can take a really, 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 really long time to to grow those back for the ozone layer to get that re- repaired. But Where they, there's um, lots of factories, there's probably a really, 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 really big hole. In the although day. it although yeah. it depends on the wind. Well done. There's a lot of factories that think that all they have to do is pay a tax and they can pollute as much as they want. How do you feel about that? Really, really upset and probably the same way for the earth. All over the world, factories are being built. So the ozone layer is a big layer of sunscreen that is wearing off because of pollution. Glaciers would probably melt and flood flood the earth or the earth would be toasted all of them are gonna melt and it's gonna flood so if global warming it's basically a chain reaction perfect that's a great way of saying it or what did you say the waters rise and they keep and eventually they go all of them yeah and all over the world all the way to the equator like the waters rise right yeah and then what does that mean for like beachfront property? That means floods. Lots yeah, and does. lots and lots and lots. So ozone layer gone, toast earth toasts, flood. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And all the way to the equator. And then yeah, no one survived. 
No one should be able to survive it unless they're in a waterproof bunker or、mm. in a helicopter. Or if or they're higher land, land, right? A higher、yeah. land, like maybe you live in the mountains or something like that, right? Yeah. Tops of mountains that you can go to, right? And at the tippy top, that's gonna be really high. It's gonna be really, really, really hard to breathe. Whoa! Tell me about that. Why? True. On Mount Everest,、yep. as you get higher, the air level gets thinner and thinner and thinner. As it gets thinner, yep. It it gets harder and harder and harder to breathe. Yeah. That's why you need like breathing or like a, a certain air suit. Air tank. Air tank. You got it. Pilots, or an oxygen you know, tank. A、uh, good、oxygen. air. Yeah. Okay, we went over the ozone layer. I like it. Ozone layer covered. What else we got? Do you have a check mark? Now next we have global warming. What does that mean? Global warming. Global warming. Yeah. So you know how last year was kind of a mix-up. Um. Yep.、More. In the winter, it was really hot. Oh, okay. Unrelated. Yep. Yeah. That's because of global warming. Okay, because it was really hot. As the ozone layer breaks in certain places where the holes are. Yes. Those are actually really hot because it's really thin. Wow. Yeah, and farting causes global warming is what we learned. Yep. What, What else is the biggest culprit for、uh, gl- global warming? What is it? Pollution. No, no, no. But what's the one thing on Earth that causes the most pollution? Factories. No, no. Cow burps. <laughs> cow burps. Cow cow burps apparently are the mostly factories. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Once air pollution causes damage to the ozone layer, the ozone layer starts getting bad, and then that causes global warming. Am I right? Yes. That's the dominoes. If we're talking about the domino effect, right? Well, because a lot of people think, oh, well, ozone layer, I can't control that. That just happens. I can't do anything to fix that. Well, what can I do? What could I do? Biking, walking,、right. buses, recycling, like all those, all those things. You can do I that. I use a plastic bottle as a bath toy a lot. That, that's a smart move. I have a re- I have a reusable coffee cup that I use all the time, so I'm not using paper. I'm not using, you know. Cow burps. <laughs> I think a lot of people only want to do changes if it doesn't impact their life very much. I'm used to, you know, getting in my car at a certain time and driving at a certain time. But if I have to ride my bike every day, well, I have to change my life. I have to get in my, I have to leave earlier for work or, or whatever. We want to prevent the holes. We want to stop the holes. Okay, I see it. Yes, yes. On the ozone hole, there's an ozone hole over the Antarctic right now. Which means that glaciers are already melting. Well, we already know that. That's true. Well, it kind of looks like an ozone layer outside, but there's holes kind of all over the place. Is what you're saying, right? Yeah, there's holes all over the ozone layer, and we want to stop that. We need we need cows to cover their mouth when they burp. And keep in mind, there's a lot of people that have asthma, right? They have a hard time breathing, so they've got the puffer. <laughs> The interesting thing is that when they go into places with really thick air, or if it's really, really hot, sometimes it's really hard to breathe. Right? They always have to have their puffer on them, just to make sure that you know if they ever have an attack, they can always have that on them. We got all four. We got all four. What, what's your、mm, form of transportation that you like?、Uh, yeah. Um. Personally, scooter a lot. Oh, cool. But- yeah, cool. Can you ride a bike well? Um,、Or、I、no. can ride a bike with training wheels. Cool. Yeah, yeah. That it's hard、well, to ride a bike, isn't it? It's still sunny.、Mm-hmm. Later on in a couple days,、mm-hmm. I am going to try without training wheels. But of course, helmet, knee pads, shoulder pads. Yeah. How do you how do you feel about the fact that you might fall? That's okay, right?、Um, yep. That's okay. That's fine. Whatever forms of transportation you can do that doesn't pollute the world, do it. Right? Yep. Scooter, and skateboard, with, bike. And then with、yeah. you, your elect, your electric car,、yeah. it works, but it takes up energy. You gotta, just like you were saying, you gotta use your arms, use your feet, 
and get around, right? Look at that. No wheels. So, spoiler alert, that doesn't exist in real life. But it will exist someday. I think so. That hoverboard's neat. I want a hoverboard. Stephen Hawking sent invitations to a party to be sent in the future. He believed if someone in the future received it, they could travel back in time to his party. <gasps> what a great idea. Cool. So check this out. Let's say you and I right now, okay? Let's you and I make a pact. Are you ready? If either of us creates or does any time travel in the future, okay? We're going to live our life. And if we ever find time travel, then we're going to come back in time to this moment. Okay? Yeah. Can, are we going to live with that? Are we going to make that deal with us right now? We're going to come back to this moment, 5.05 in Vancouver. And what time is it over in your area? Um, 8.05. 8.05. We're going to come back to this exact moment if either of us are capable of creating time travel. Okay? So here we go. If if we stick to our word, then one of us should show up here right now because we told ourselves that we're going to do it in the future. Ready? Ready. Three, two, two one. one. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. We didn't we didn't do it. Well, time is a really weird thing, travel? right? Yeah. Is basically like a wormhole. Oh, right. time travel is basically a portal, and you have to have something like anti no, not antimatter. Oh, like what? Um, something to just keep it open. For a wormhole, there's a string theory. Whoa! So yeah. maybe for maybe for traveling back in time, there's a string theory. Black hole or yeah. supernova, they supernova or black hole. Like a black you, hole. You wow. So you, you want to avoid black holes? <laughs> really? Yeah. At, at all cost. You were talking about string theory. Tell me a bit about string theory. String theory is where there's an invisible string that you go through. It's pr it's also predicted that at the center of the Milky Way. It, it's not a black hole. It's a wormhole. Oh, so that's what Neil deGrasse Tyson was talking a, about. Yeah. It takes a, a really long time, like a billion light years to get there. So no one would survive the trip. So no one ever knows. Seeing and I love this video. Process, oh, great. A passive one. So this is know, where I got this the string theory. That's a coincidence that I even found this one. What do so you think? So string theory with a wormhole yeah. is going to be a string that goes through. Right. Like an invisible string that carries your matter, takes it all the way to the other side, and then you get rebuilt the same way you were before on okay. the other side. And but that's, with and black holes, it's predicted it, black holes are wormholes, but living beings can't can't make it so on the other side it's another universe right and it's called the white hole and things get spit out of it okay i had no idea but about living this. beings can't go through it well, this is a lot of science this is a lot of science i like this just search up in a nutshell and all their videos will pop up i love it i love it I i'm gonna i'm this channel. But it sounds like you, you're really inc encouraged to learn about science. The um, Perseverance First Flight. Yeah, exactly. Tell me about that. I want Mars, though. I want to learn about what's going on on Mars right now. So... Oh, this is a short one. Uh, descent and Touchdown on Mars. Let's, let's, let's watch this really quick. I actually watched this on TV. What was this, two months ago? Was this a month or so ago? Yeah. They're showing the stages on there. Look. And you, you love this, don't you? You love space stuff. What can you imagine doing for NASA? Nav filter converge. Velocity solution 3.3 wow. meters per second. Altitude 7.4 kilometers. Probably radar trying, on the ground. Current trying to discover if seconds. there once was Six life, seconds. like bacteria. Right? Bacteria on Mars or are or signs of water on Mars. Looks mm. like there was a river right there. 
Right. I remember when it landed. I was so excited. It was pretty cool. You were like, ah! Yeah, it was neat. Touchdown confirmed. Perseverance safely. Yay! Yay! Touchdown confirmed! Touchdown confirmed! Yeah. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Here, I'll do this. Touchdown uh, confirmed! Touchdown confirmed! So I watched that live. Did you watch that live as well? Yes, did I did. I watched did? it live. Oh, and when man. it ended, I watched it like a million times. Tell me the fact. So, did you know Mars is actually a radioactive desert? Pretty much. Uh, pretty much a lie? radioactive desert. I'm excited to watch this anyways. Um, f I saw the video of it, and I saw that when it took off, it took off, all this wind blew away all the dirt from below it. And I thought that was interesting. Is there an atmosphere on Mars? Is there? Two days ago, NASA made breathable oxygen from thin air on Mars. What? 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 Google Mars. Google Mars oxygen. Does it say what year? Because that could have been last year or a couple years ago. No, it actually comes up here. Hold on. Wow. So they created some breathable air, like an air tank for them? Yeah. That's what it's saying. Perseverance successfully tested an oxygen, oxygen generator on Mars. Wowzers. Wow, One. that's long. Unnecessarily long. One. Okay, let's see it buzz up. Um, is something going to happen? Is something expected to happen now? Is something expected to happen or was this all just boring stuff? Oh, they're just doing a system check, maybe. That's no help. Okay, no help. Pen throw. Hello, Fresh. So many advertisements. We used to get Hello, Fresh. Mars Oxygen Institute resource utilization experiment. A comp oh, Moxie accomplished the test, the task to generate oxygen from Mars carbon dioxide. Wow. Wow. That is actually pretty cool, right? If they can do it if on Mars, maybe they can turn turn air pollution, bad air pollution into breathable breathe air, which well, would be very hard. Or huh. an extra ozone layer. Yeah, well, we something. should have a secondary ozone layer. To quote Iron Man, we need a shield of armor around the Earth. There's so much technology. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. yeah. I don't know how long it took to make this video. Probably a long time. Well, videos are generally easy to make, but... Um, but the technology here. The yeah. technology. There's so much. Here, the technology. Well, I think I think we should wind her down now, if that's okay with you. It's Agreed. Little, that was fun. Yeah. This is what I wanted to do for a while. I enjoy hanging out with you no matter what. People like learning with you. You're a really smart girl. I don't know if you know that. You're very smart. Keep calm, carry on. Keep calm, carry on. Something from World War II. But I think that's true, actually. Weird. We learned a lot today about global warming. We learned a lot about pollution. We learned a lot about black holes. We watched some Neil deGrasse Tyson. We, uh, what else did we talk about today? Um, what's the biggest contributor to, um, to air pollution? What did we talk about? Cow burps! Cow burps. That's what we learned is the most biggest contributor. Um, <laughs> we, we also learned, I wrote it down, uh, don't be a unicorn, show up early and on time. It's important that you show up early and on time. Never late. Never late because the unicorns never were late. Never pack your schedule full. That's right, yeah. Unicorns were late for Noah's Ark. That's why they don't exist anymore. It's probably true. It's probably true. And we, we also learned a fun fact about you today. What did we learn about? I'm dizzy proof. Hashtag dizzy proof. Okay, well let's let's wrap it up here. Thanks uh, for hanging. Hope we can do another le learning session. Yeah. Don't forget. Don't be late. Don't be a unicorn.
That's going to be the, be the new rule. Don't be a unicorn. Don't be a unicorn. Show up on time. That photo was taken before Noah's Ark. Okay. Bye. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.